Welcome, this is Dan from Studio Way Design. Today I'm going to run you through some tips I have for setting up the Zero Brand 3D Printable Carbon Fiber PLA. Bit difficult to get going, but once you have it dialed in, you end up with pretty awesome results. This particular brand is 70% PLA, 30% carbon fiber, and 1.75 diameter for my printer. They recommend a 4mm nozzle or larger. I'm going to, uh, with my experience, suggest much larger than 4mm. In my case, I had to go all the way up to 8mm for best results. Now keep in mind, depending on what printer you're using, this could be a completely different setup for you. But in this case, again, we're uh, going with zero brand 3D filament. And I'm running a CR10 Mini Creality 3D printer. After clogging about two hardened steel nozzles, I decided I would just go to the brass nozzle, which are cheap enough to consider disposable, until I dialed in the rest of my settings. On the left is a great example of a nozzle that's too small. It couldn't keep up even at a 20% feed rate. It eventually got clogged way at the top. On the right, I finally moved to an 8mm at 60% feed rate. And here's the hardened steel nozzle. You can see the dots on the side can be used to decode the size of the nozzle. And if you need the serial number to order this part, you can get this on Amazon. You can use this chart to identify your nozzle by the amount of dots that are on the side. Column B is the nozzle size. And just connect that with the amount of dots on your particular nozzle. And of course, make sure you set this up within your slicing software. I'm using Cura, and this is an example. This is the part I used to test. Get my printer set up. So you want to go into printers. And just make sure that you've got everything set up properly. In this case, it's a 0.8 millimeter and 1.75 filament diameter. So I started out using the preset fine because most of the settings are almost identical for running PLA I've found. So the first one you're going to look at is layer height. I went with 0.2. In this case I went with 100% infill. Temperature for PLA is 220. Carbon fiber you have to run much hotter. I cranked mine all the way up to 245. Now this is a setting that's very easy to play around with. Try to see what kind of results you end up with, but this particular test run, 245, really worked well. Now print speed, with a 0.8 nozzle you can go pretty fast. I was at 60% for this test. When I was running 0.4 millimeter, it just couldn't push the material through. At a high temperature and super slow feed rate, 20%, it just couldn't keep up. And the key here is layer adhesion. With true layer adhesion, you can feel it's much stronger. This doesn't even budge, super strong. And you can even hear the difference. I hope this video helps you out, helps you get your printer set up with carbon fiber filament. I know it can be super frustrating at first, but hang with it. Let me know if you have any questions.